Hey Dan here from vhex411.com Today I have an airbag module in front of me from a Chevy uh, It has a airbag code B051 deployment command These airbag modules with this code cannot be cleared with a genetic scan tool even if you take it to a dealer if the car has a crash code in it that means dealer will tell you hey buy a new computer because we cannot clear this code it has crash data stored in it now there is a way to do it I will show you one of the easy ways to do it uh, the other way actually you would have to open up this seal silicone get to the board and read a Motorola processor which takes time connecting and you might end up damaging the board while you're doing this process simple and easy way of doing it is getting the right tools for starters you will need the 812 adapter because the A1 adapter from CarPro will not work it has to be A12 specially designed for GM car airbags I'll use a CarPro programmer and it is the original one aftermarket one most of the time won't work and if it will it could corrupt the file I have also a breakout box that I built I will be connecting my A12 plug into this OBD port the power supply 12 volts and a serial data port that I built that way I can actually connect the connector that I also built to my breakout box over here and directly to my airbag module well let's get the start process going so I'll be connecting my airbag plug to the module and by the way you can't clear it on the car it still has to come off the car I will connect to my serial port here and I will connect my OBD2 plug and my power supply 12 volts now that I have this connected I will go to my car probe GM and then you can just click on read fault memory once it reads the fault memory it will show you the part number over here which is 1031 right here matches the part number here so it's a good read we will go to the EEPROM mode I will click to read this processor now if you don't know which processor is inside of it because obviously you didn't open it up always go with the 60 which is the bigger memory and then read it and see if it's the right one how to know if it's the right one if you get the AF on the very top up to about two, line 200 that means it's a smaller processor the 32 so you can actually choose the 32 and then read it and once you read it you will have the data from the processor we will save it it's a 10 31 0, 1, 58 I will save it as a bad one because it's a crashed save it now you can compare files in your library if you have a good and bad clear it manually or they also have crash data reset which can be done automatically for you so I'll just do that clear the crash data read it and make sure it doesn't have the B0051 code as you can see it does not have avoid these I mean ignore these codes because obviously your computer is not connected to any of the airbags but you're clearing the B0051 code as you can see we don't have the B0051 code and ECM will function ignore that also because the computer is disconnected so okay clear again I can double check but there's no point one time two times is good enough that way you can double check so there is no crash data in it now 
super easy, super simple, safe. You're not removing the board, which can damage in the process. You're just literally connecting it with a good computer, with a good uh, plug, and reading it safely. Not all GM computers can be done this way. They got the long square ones. That one you definitely have to open up, and then they got e-prompts. You have to definitely connect to it to read it. Otherwise, if you need this service done for you, you don't have a computer programmer, uh, you don't have none of these tools, you can actually send it out to Carmen Auto, which is K-A-R-M-A-N Auto. I'll, send, I'll actually put a link below the video. And if you are a programmer programming these for a living, just give me a thumbs up if this information was useful for you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.